Okay, so today we are going to look at how to export a garment from Marvelous Designer and then import that garment into Carbon Cloth for Maya. Then we are going to set that garment up in Carbon Cloth Tailor Mode. So here we are in Marvelous and we are going to export both the avatar and the 3D garment in a format that is compatible with Carbon. So having set up the pattern and drape, we next need to align the UVs with the pattern so that the pattern will lay out correctly when we import it into Maya. So let's go to the UV editor and then set UV from pattern alignment. And now we can export the garment. File, export OBJ, and I'll replace the file I exported earlier. So I just want the pattern and I want a single object, welded, thin, and unified UV coordinates because that will maintain the layout. And I'm going to export in centimeters. Okay, now let's export the avatar. File, export, OBJ. This time we want the avatar and we don't really care about the rest other than centimeters, of course, to match the dress. Okay, now we are in Maya and let's import our assets from Marvelous. So first, file, import the avatar. And then file, import the dress. Okay. Next, we are going to extract the 2D pattern from the imported 3D mesh. So select the mesh and then click on the UV to points icon on the carbon shelf. You'll see the 2D panels are very small because Marvelous defaults to UV units relative to meters. So we need to scale the 2D pattern to match the scale of our scene in centimeters. Over here on the right, you'll see we have a scaling attribute in the UV to points node. As we want to go to centimeters from meters, we need to scale by a factor of 100. I'll show you later how to double check that you have the correct scale, as it's possible to screw things up in Marvelous so that the export scale is not quite as expected. Let's move these panels to the side, like that, and you'll see that we have an identical 2D pattern layout here as we had in Marvelous. And also, the warp and weft directions in Carbon are identical to those in Marvelous with weft on the x-axis and warp on the y-axis. Okay, so let's now turn the dress into a carbon cloth with the 2D panels as reference. So we select the dress mesh and holding control, select the output UV to point shape. And then we can click on the carbon cloth icon on the carbon shelf. You'll see it's generated a carbon simulation node as well, as one didn't exist already. Over here, in the attributes, you can see that the reference has been set to the output UV to point shape. So now all we need to do is select the tailored cloth model. That's hidden the pattern. So we can just bring that back by unhiding the UV to point shape. Now let's convert the avatar into a carbon collider. So we select the mesh and then just click on the carbon collider icon on the shelf. You can see here that we have some Z buffer fighting between the geo mesh rendering and the carbon physics draw. So let's just hide the geo meshes. Okay, so to complete the setup, we just need to set the carbon simulation scale. Carbon works in SI units, and so it defaults to meters. Here we are working in centimeters, so we need 0.01 for the scale. An advanced feature enabled by the 2D reference is the ability to rotate 2D patterns on the virtual fabric to set warp weft bias just like you would do in the real world with real fabric. Finally I just want to show you how to check that the pattern size is correct. So what we need to do is measure one of the straight edges on the pattern in Maya and compare that with the same edge in Marvelous. To do that make the edge as large as possible to make it easier to measure. Select the measure tool, go to create measure tool distance and hold down the V key to lock onto a vertex. Okay, so 69.499 is the number of units in Maya. And now if we go back to Marvelous, the edge we want to measure is this one here. So zoom in and then display 2D pattern show line length. We can see here that the length of the edge is 695. Now remember, Marvelous default units are in millimeters. So that becomes 69.5 units in our Maya scene in centimeters. So we have confirmed the pattern size is correct in Maya. We hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.